Well, that was a bit shocking. What did I tell everyone? We got that win last week at Sydney, but we've never heard of such a word known as momentum. I don't remember once Newcastle going on more than a five-game winning streak. That is just an example of what I mean. I mean that Newcastle have no consistent runs. We don't go on win streaks. We don't... Uh... You know what? To every Mariners fan watching this video, I am so sorry that you didn't walk away with all three points today because boy, oh boy, you deserved it. Yes, your team is absolute dog crap. Yes, you got dominated, but that was always going to happen. But you stood your own ground today. You know, you actually gave to... <sighs> I can't swear. You actually cared. You actually gave it, gave it your best shot. And I applaud you for that. As for Newcastle, every single player, bar one or two that I'll name in a bit, should be ashamed of themselves. Jason Hoffman is a professional football player. <laughs> yeah, you heard me correctly. Jason Hoffman. By the way, if you can hear anything, it's just my cat back there. Sorry. Like, I don't know. Whatever. Jason Hoffman. Oh, I just can't believe it. Nick Fitzgerald is still playing for Newcastle. Get him gone. He's not good enough. Did you see him tonight? He was calling for the over-the-top ball, and when it fell, like, Five centimeters short. Won't go up for the header. Then don't call for the ball. Honestly, how? How? One thing that Robinson should have known when coming in, don't play Nick Fitzgerald. He's not good enough. He's not A-League quality. He's just too poor. And I'm sorry, because he's a, he's a good guy and all that, but like, no, he's not good enough. Matt Miller had a very off game tonight, then did his hammy just after half time, but he was very bad. And I, I can't slate him too much because he's just been fantastic. He's been our best player this season. I, I don't I don't understand what happened. He just he just had an off game and players have off games. That that happens. The reason why I'm so mad at Fitzgerald is because he does this every single week. Last week he was average. That was his best game in a Newcastle show, and he was average. He even scored a bicycle kick, and he was still average throughout the entirety of the game. Italiano was a bit shaky, but he didn't make any costly mistakes, which was good. Roy O'Donovan was, I did, he touched the ball 13 times, I think, which is baffling. Topper and, uh, what's his face, Ugarkovic were okay today. I think Ugarkovic gets man of the match for sure. That push that he did on Juric. There's just no need for that. He lost it, and I get he he lost his head. I get that he must have been a bit upset that we were doing so poorly because he was a step up from every Newcastle player tonight, and even he made a couple of mistakes. But there's just no need to push him. Um, Topper was okay, made a couple of mistakes. Bogar was okay, made a couple of mistakes. Katrumbus made a lot of mistakes. Oh, God, they spelled Katrumbus' name wrong on the... Um, on the A-League page. That's pretty poor. O'Toole was so good. And you know what? Carl brought him off after 55 minutes. Why? O'Toole was probably our best player before he came off. And then, of course, Ugo got it. Stevie. But how on... Uh, why? I'm just... Oh, I'm sorry. How? Why did we bring him off? We brought him on... Oh, off, sorry. For a guy that I've never even heard of before. I forgot his name. Um, Mag Maragis. No idea. Um, he was all right when he came on, by the way, but whatever. Anyone else that I really need to highlight? Ibini was great, and then he, uh, I think he suffered some cramp at halftime and came off five minutes after the uh, the game resumed. Turgate was pretty energetic, didn't do too much. Ledley came on, was all right. Dimmy came on. He was pretty average, and some of his shots, though, were just absolutely atrocious. Costa Petrados came on, lost his head a few times, and deserved to get sent off, for sure. Ah, that's something I want to talk about. The referee tonight, oh my god, the biggest moron of them all, how he is okay in the head, 
I would I will never understand. If I sometimes do this, by the way, it's because my hands are cold and my cheeks are very warm. Whatever. Um yeah, so I just I I cannot believe how bad the ref was tonight. Some of the decisions, yes, they were all Newcastle's way. Pretty much every decision was Newcastle's way. And while we've had bad run-ins with referees in the past, and while, yeah, we probably deserve to have one, it's not good enough. Every team and every game should be refereed equally. There was no bias. It was just poor decisions. It was just lack of care from the referee. That is... I just... I don't get it. How was the ref so bad today? We should have had Kutrumbus, Costa Petratos, and Steven Ugarkovic all sent off today. Every single one of them should have gotten two yellow cards each. Kutrumbus took out a man last man, didn't get booked. What? What is he thinking? What is the ref thinking? Don't get me wrong, like I'm thankful that Kutrumbus didn't get sent off, but if this if if this one decision meant Kutrumbus was sent off, but all referee decisions would now be, like, equal, I'd be all for it because we need more consistent referees. I get it, refs make mistakes, but this is unacceptable. You, you know, you've got people in the Premier League con complaining that the refs are too bad. Like, I know VAR is atrocious over there, but um, the refs themselves. VAR wasn't used once tonight. Nothing really happened. I mean, it was just a bit of a stalemate. It was a ball fest. I'm just glad it was over. But we needed three points tonight. We needed three points against the worst team in A-League history. Now, I know a lot of Mariners fans are going to be like, eh, salty, salty Newcastle fan. Yeah, I am salty, but that has nothing to do with the fact that your team's complete and utter shite. Let's be honest, your team is crap. You've actually got Jair, you've got Orr. Um, Jurich is overrated as hell. You've got Clisby, best left back in the league. But apart from that, you've got no one. You've just got a team that just don't string well together. You've got a poor squad, and we have to be getting wins against you. You've lost your last 11 games. You've got one clean sheet in 22 games. Huh? How are we drawing? Nil-nil to this team. Now, don't get me wrong. You guys stood your own. You guys tried tonight. But if we put in an ounce of effort, we would have won this 4 or 5 nil. Simple as that. We had a good couple of chances. Um, Petratos, Costa Petratos had a really good chance. Poor finish. Six yards out, and he just straight at the keeper. He just uh, tapped it. If he just side-footed that into the corner, that is 1-0 in the 87th minute. Deservedly so. And then after that, I think... Mariners had about six or seven shots in the last four or five minutes, which is baffling. Um, but that was pretty much only the only good moment that Hoffman had all game. That cross into Petratos was very good. But apart from that, he was atrocious as well. Tonight was all round just poor from every Newcastle player. Yes, even Ugarkovic, everyone on there. Even though some performed okay, they were still just so... Terror, they were just, oh, they were just, they didn't care. And they probably did, but, like, let's be honest, they just didn't show it enough tonight. Fair play to the Mariners' fullbacks as well. Uh, Ziggy Gordon, weirdest name ever, um, the right back, and Jack Clisby, um, best left back in the A-League. I don't care if you disagree. That is a strong opinion of mine. They were both fantastic. That's something that Newcastle don't have. Good fullbacks going forward. I tell you what, Miller's actually good going forward, but tonight he was just crap. Um, and obviously Burns is gone. Connor O'Toole did well going forward, but you know what's the problem? <laughs> you know what's a big problem here? Sorry, my stupid chair squeaking. Nigel Bogard. Love the guy, of course. But holy crap. Holy crap. He was telling O'Toole to come back and stop going forward when he had the ball. Sorry, just, yeah, take a step back from that. He told O'Toole to stop going forward. What? What is he thinking? O'Toole has the, the tools to keep going forward. Why is he telling him to stay back? That is a great example of poor leadership. And I know, I know, the few of you that may know, I captained my team last year and... 
yeah, whatever you can say, I'm a bad captain or whatever. What do I know? This guy's like 35, 36, has been captaining Newcastle for a couple of years now, and he just should be doing better. He just should be doing better. It's so simple. Just, just acknowledge your surroundings. I don't know what I'm saying, man. I just have no idea what I'm saying. Anyway, thank you for, for watching um, me rant about Newcastle for a couple of minutes. Disgraceful result, disgraceful performance. Mariners, I feel for you. You had to re realistically win this if you had any hope of not being, uh, finish it, being put in 11th place in last place. But uh, not to be. You will be finishing the season in 11th place, which is great. It's a silver lining from tonight. But as a Newcastle fan, this is poor. We need to get in the finals. And this is not going to help us whatsoever. So, yeah, screw that. Whatever. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.